Eh, I could have taken that dragon. Well, you may get your chance. Remember, Sangrax is still on the loose, and my dragon doesn't look like he'd survive another direct confrontation. It may be up to you, after all. I'm glad you have so much confidence. I'd be willing to take odds if you'd like to wager on your success. I'll give you, oh, let's see, 300 to 1. Sound fair? All right, I'm ready to go. Take us through, Zipnab. Very well. Climb up on my dragon and I'll take us all through. My dragon is wounded, Mr. Insensitive. Why don't you get rid of some of that heavy junk that you've been toting around? It'll make the trip that much easier for him. An impressive sight, don't you think? Hasn't changed a whit since the old days. Actually, after the initial shock of being in another reality wears off, it's kind of boring. There's that horizon that goes on forever and the sinkhole, that's pretty much it. No continents, no convenience stores, nothing. You were here before? Does that mean you were on the original council? I never said that. I think Sama sent me a picture postcard that said, My esteemed leader went to the Vortex and all I got was this lousy postcard. The picture was really nice, though. It really did this place justice. It must have had, oh, 256 colors. Where are Zar and Sangdrax? Isn't it obvious? They're on the island floating over the sinkhole. Even now they are preparing for the Reformation. It shouldn't be long until they start the process. I'd better get to work. Time is running out. That's true. You'd better get going. <laughs> I wish I had some popcorn. This is gonna be some show.
What are you? Some kind of phantasm born of the vortex? I can feel the wild magic around us. Are you part of that? I am no phantasm. I am the true Haplo. Your companion is a dragon who has taken my form to trick you into destroying the world. He has tried his best to keep me from following you here, but here I am. You must stop what you are doing, my lord. The Reformation will not be what you expect. Many will die, including our own race. My lord, it's obvious that this is some trick, some manifestation of the Vortex's wild magic. Why it spouts lies to stop you from claiming your rightful heritage, I don't know. But don't spare it a thought. Continue with the ritual, and I will deal with my double. What you say makes sense, my son, but something about this doesn't ring true. Can you prove your words? Are you the real Haplo? Or is this, as my companion claims, just a hollow trick? It's no trick. I can prove I'm Haplo. Remember our conversation about heart runes? They name us. They give us our magic. They are the center of our beings. If they are torn or broken, we fall ill. We cannot function. I show you mine, unbroken. I challenge my double to do the same. Of course I can show you my heart room, and why not? After I've done so, I'll eliminate this annoyance so that you can complete the reformation undisturbed, Lord Czar. I live only to serve you. I prefer to be direct anyway. My lord, you will complete the reformation. If you do not, I will kill you. It's your choice. Very well, dragon. I will continue the reformation, but only because it suits my purposes as well. Excellent. Get on with it then. That should take care of our friend, eh? Tell me what's happening here, Haplo. Quickly, if you don't mind. It seems that I have been misinformed. The Reformation is not what I wished it to be. I must change my plans. We 
will bring about the interconnection. The worlds cannot survive without it. But the Sartan's strength is severely depleted. It is as nothing compared to ours. After we have connected the realms, we shall invade them, wipe them clean of the Sartan influence, and take our rightful place as rulers. Attend me, my son. I've placed the focus over the starting room of the Reformation. While you gather the remaining seal pieces, I have to move it back to the interconnection starting room. I'm lucky that my research indicated which room this was. Otherwise, I might not know how to bring it about.